Namaste, Dalibji, and here we are in our final uh, session of our segment on meditation, yoga, pranayama, Ayurveda. And today, in a little bit, is a kind of a synthesis of everything. Lifestyle medicine. How is meditation medication for our system? And I know we've planned it in a three-part way. The first part, where you're going to talk about what is the daily lifestyle, the nacharya, what should it include, food, lifestyle, and then moving along the way into, finally, the chakra meditation. How can you integrate all of your systems in your body and with the chakra and the meditation practices? So I will leave it to you on how you want to craft this session. Dhanubad, Aparna. Thank you again. It's my honor and privilege to be invited for your program so in an embassy. And this segment will be concluded with a, a therapeutic meditation. And I use the term that meditation is medication. I was in India. I was in a very famous yoga center. It was an indoor uh, Paramananda Yoga Institute. And the, the Swamiji there, the Oma, 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 Oma Ganji, he took me to a room, this called my yoga therapy room, and I see in the big sign in the top, it says, meditation is the best medication. But when I looked at analyzing it, if you look at meditation and medication, only difference is only one letter. Meditation has a T and medication has a C. So I tell everybody that meditation is your transformation transform into a lifestyle that your whole life is meditation. And medication is a C that is called a choice. You have a choice of taking those pills and medication if you want, or if you have a meditative life, you will have a, a disease-free, medication-free, quality living. So for the yogis, as I said, you know, from the beginning, the yoga is meditation. Every limb from from your yam, niyam, asan, pranayam, pratahar, dharam, dhyan, samadhi, every limb is meditation. And our daily routine is a meditation. And then we'll go with the chakras and the, the, the reason for the chakra balancing practice is that our rishis, our, our yogis were so intelligent, so dharmic that they could connect. And now today, as a Western trained physician, I find has a profound influence in our body and mind. So the first, a daily routine. What happens to them? A yogis, they wake up in the morning. That is called a Brahma Muhurtu. Brahma Muhurtu is between four to six in the time. And also in a daily 24 hours, there's a segment of four hour segment, which connects with your Ayurvedic body type. So morning 6 to 10 is a kapha time, and 10 to 2, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. is a pitta time, and 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. is a vata time. Then again, go back 6 to 10 in the evening is a kapha time, 10 to 2 is a pitta time at night time, and 2 to 6 is a vata time. So wake up into the vata time at the end of your vata time, 6 to 4 to 6. First, we get up, we get up very slowly, turn on your left side, and then get up, and then first you do, you do a bhunamaskar. You touch your, touch your ground, because why bhunamaskar? That's what I came from. Then you do a karadarshan, take a look at your hand, take a look, because this is your karma, karma yoga. That's a meditative practice. This is a karadarshan. Then also you do a namaskar to your parents, you know, pitri matri namaskar. Why you came from, from your father and mother. Then slowly you sit down in a color malasan. In a malasan is a grounding pose. If you can sit down, which we do it all the time, I sit down, your whole body relaxes because your ankle relaxes, knee, whole body relaxes. And sitting in a malasan, we take generally from a copper vessel, we keep the water on my bedside, and we drink the water, we drink in a gulp. When you drink in a gulp, finish the whole water, it starts called the peristalsis, contraction of my intestinal tract. And also, st 
stretching my stomach, it starts a phenomena called a gastrocolic reflex. What it does, it initiates a, a, a very smooth bowel movement in the morning. So it's called a proper elimination. Mala mutra tag. When you do a mala mutra tag in the morning, that is also a meditative practice, at least for me. Why? If I don't have any proper elimination first thing in the morning, if I'm carrying all the nasty, toxic material on my body, I'm not in a meditative state in my life. Next, when you do brush out teeth, I do a tongue scraping. When a tongue scraping, when I take the scraping out, we can take a look at it. You can clearly see the coating. When the coating is whitish, it's my kapha today. If it's yellowish, it's a pitta today. If it's brownish, it's a butter today. My doshas changes with the my your brahmando. What happens in your in your environment? You know, then you do the gel neti. When the gel neti, gel neti, its initial is very irritation. Slowly and slowly, the gel neti relaxes us. It's a very powerful, relaxing experience. In the morning, we do one hour of practice, 25 minutes of asanas, 25 minutes of pranayama, 10 minutes of meditation. And, and the breakfast is very little, very small breakfast. Why? Because morning is a kapha time, 6 to 10. We have a manda agni. My agni is not strong enough. So breakfast is very little. Main meal is a lunch between 10 to 2. Around 10, you know, 12 to 1, you take the main meal. Main meal consists of your six taste, astringent, bitter, pungent, salty, sour, sweet, and seven coloring fruits and vegetables. Violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, red. So that is main meal. And also remember the food is digested with my son, with my all the nature. And one yogic concept is fruits should be eaten alone. You do not eat fruits because fruits has a lot of your enzymes, which is interferes with the intestinal absorption called intestinal glycoprotein. It is called the cytochrome P450, interferes with our metabolic process. And generally we take the fruit as all the coloring fruits as afternoon as a snack. And then in the afternoon, you can do a little bit of a practice, the vata time. And in the evening also, between 6 to 10 is a cup of time. So dinner is very small. Dinner is generally half of the size of your lunch. And then you have it two to three hours before bedtime. By 10 o'clock, you go to bed. Before going to bed, you drink a glass of water or drink a glass of milk. In Ayurveda, it describes that warm milk. There is no cold milk in Ayurveda. You put generally you put a little nutmeg, put a little turmeric. It's a beautiful, you know, just really you go to sleep right away. 10 to 4, you, you know, sleep about six hours. And we can talk about sleep one long time, you know, to REM sleep, non-REM sleep, stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four. It's a beautiful lifestyle. What's a lifestyle is your, basically, meditation. But a therapeutic meditation comes that when the our yogis close their eyes, they saw the color in front of them. Okay, and let me go over to do, unless you have any question about the daily life. No, I think you, that. you've said it very beautifully, and I see the beginnings of where you're going with the connection of the uh, violet, the, the seven uh, shades and the seven chakras. I see where you are beginning to make those connections. So I'm patient, and I love to hear you talk okay. us through it. Okay, let me let me go ahead and do the connection first. And the, the, the practice was, remember, we practice in the first thing in the morning after all my rituals. So this is just to show you what you're doing. We'll be practicing, we'll do the mantra practice. So first, when you look at the color, the yogis for the color in the nature is the color of the rainbow. And rainbow is a violet, indigo, blue, vibjior, huh? Violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, red. So look at that. They have assigned this along the sign of the spine. The first is the crown chakra. The crown chakra is a violet in color. It's connected with a nervous system. Its function is the bliss. It's connected to a gland called the pineal gland. And also connected with our, your called the supratentorial brain, the brain, the higher cortex of the brain. When it comes in between your eyes, it's called your Agga Chakra. Agga Chakra is second color. It's beautiful the color. It's a connection. Indigo. 
And also, it has a physical structure. There are two petals. The Sahasra Chakra is a thousand petals. And there's a balance. The two, two petals is connected with your endocrine system. And then it's connected to endocrine system because the main endocrine gland is your pituitary gland. Connects to the pituitary gland. And also, it's uh, connected with your parasympathetic tone, the nervous system. So the connections I'm creating, then you will see when to the practice and it will be balancing all this system. And that is called a therapeutic meditation. Comes the Vishuddha Chakra, third color was blue. So it has, you know, it has a blue color, the 16 petals. It's connected to your respiratory system. Its function is communication. And endocrine gland, it connects with the thyroid and parathyroid gland. Mm-hmm. And it connects with your called pharyngeal plexus. The pharyngeal plexus is also supplied by your vagus nerve. So by able to able to you balance this chakra also balances your vagus. Come to the fourth chakra, the anahata chakra. Color is green, and it's connected to your cardiovascular system. Function is your love. The heart gives you love. Connected to your thymus gland. Thymus gland connected to your cardiac plexus. Cardiac plexus is also a branch of the vagus nerve. Come to your belly button, which is a color now will be what? Yellow. You know, it is called Manipur Chakra. Manipur Chakra, it is about 10 petals. And the heart, the chakra has a 12 petals. This is a 10 petals. Color is yellow. Connected to your gastrointestinal system. Endocrine gland is connected through your pancreas, the beta cells for diabetes, and the nervous, your solar plexus. Come to the Sadhisthan chakra between the belly button, root of the spine, connected to your reproductive system. Function is your, your procreation. Function is your procreation, and then it's connected through your called hypogastric plexus. And endocrine is connected to your gonads. For the female is ovaries, male is the testicles. Then you go all the way down to the root chakra, hmm? Muladha chakra, red in color. It's exactly violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, red. It's exactly red in color. These are four petals. Connect your musculoskeletal system. Hmm? Like your back pain, knee pain, hip pain is all in that Muladhara chakra. Connect it through your adrenal glands because that is your power. Hmm? That is also the function is a power. And it's also called a sacral plexus. So see how beautiful they have connected. And I get that, you get that uh, question from all my Western trained physicians, you know. You don't see it in your, the, you know, you know, sula sharir. It's in a shukha sharir, your subtle body. And it only comes when you have it in a meditative state. Unless you're in a meditative state, the chakra concept doesn't come to you. Now, let's start from the bottom high up, the practices we'll do. Okay, so think about Muladhar Chakra practice. Well, the asana, pranayama, mudra, and abandas, and the mantras, right? sequentially you can do. So this is a grounding, Muladhar, so you do the grounding pose. Padmasan, you do a titliyasan, you do a vajrasan, hmm? pranayama, and also, this also has the effect of like, you know, Ayurvedic body, mind, spirit. So if you look at the seven chakras from bottom high up, it's so beautiful connection will be the lower one will be your earth. Tradition chakra will be your water. Earth will be your smell. The Tradition chakra will be your taste. Monipur chakra will be fire. There is a vision. Heart chakra will be your air. So that will be your communication. And then your throat chakra, Vyuddha chakra will be your space. Agha chakra will be your mind. Shastra chakra will be your spirit. Body, mind, spirit. Body has the five elements. Pancha Mahabhuta with your mana and atma. So the practices are there. So that since is a component is your the water or the art, Kapal Bhati Pranayama. Hmm? Mudras, what is the mudra will be? 
because the water is your prana mudra or shakti mudra because the five finger the space is middle finger air fire water earth so this too is your atharvam pranam so when you come the sound will be your lam let's do one thing let me just go over very quickly the other practices then we'll do the mudra the sound very quietly the the mantras and we'll finish our practice it is shadhisthan chakra your again the the asanas will be like a your say malasan the sitting down in the malasan pranayama will be your kapalbhati pranayama mudra since the water will be your varun mudra varun mudra is a balancing of water and your bandhas will be your mula band mud will be mula band and it's called a root lock so you come to your shadhisthan chakra so it is your at the level of the belly button so say vakrasan okay or you can do your say nukasan or you can do it at the looking at your belly button your will be your say <coughs> setu bandha asan asana practice you know pranayama what is pranayama bajo pranayama you do the udyani band with the breath holding and exhalation mudras will be this is the fire the fire will be your your apna mudra called pachan mudra this is a cooking mudra because this is a pachan gi tract gastrointestinal system pachan mudra and your bandhas will be your udyani band abdominal lock these are all the practices we have already done so you can do it in the heart will be heart opening you know the bhujangasan or the chokra the cartwheel chakrasan pranayama pranayama will be your this is the air component alternate nostril breathing onulom vilom pranayama practicing these are called balancing your chakras the therapeutic pranayama then will be your say mudras the mudras will be this is air component will be your vayu mudra you put your index finger down in the vayu mudra bandhas will be here again will be your the udyani band udyani band because your like kundalini jagaran kundalini jagaran is taking place then you should of vishuddha chakra vishuddha chakra practice will be like your brahma mudra we did the brahma mudra practice at the beginning on the first day then all with the 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 matsasan fish pose pranayama pranayama will be your ujjayi pranayama because of pharyngeal plexus mudras 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 will be again this is the space so this will be your shunya mudra shunya mudra for balancing and then your bandha will be your jalandhar bandha chin lock when you go to the akha chakra the your uh, practice will be a balasan balasan or the shashanka asan you can do a uh, very little bit of a uh, another say uh, sarvanga asan shoulder stand halasan um so there pranayama pranayama will be a primary om pranayama om pranayama you know a a u ma om pranayama then will be your mudras mudras will be your dhanu mudra or a gyanu mudra the meditative mudra and your the bandhas will be again your jalantar bandha so now for your, your sahasra chakra the whole practice will be say the shishasan shishasan will be for your sahasra chakra the pranayama will be pranavu pranayam pranavu pranayam we do it a call chin mudra chin mai mudra adhi mudra and the three components we do a u ma with the all three different mudra we call it pranavu pranayam mudra will be your dhanu mudra the gyanu mudra and your bandhas will be again jalandhar bandha so let's practice the sounds which will finish with the practice that lam gam ram yam ham sham om and all the pranayamas we have done all the bandhas you know practices we have done so sit down with your spine straight is your hand mudra this is a very important mudra this is the dhanu mudra or a gyanu mudra it quite strong your body and mind 
then bring your awareness put it just over your knees bring your awareness at the root of your spine look at the look at the chakra red in color the four sides is an imbalance we have done all the we have told you all the practice we do the sound to balance the chakra is a lump it's all practice together we'll all do through the nose breathe out first breathe in through nose breathe out with the sound of a lump so breathe out first take a deep breath in lum bring your awareness between belly button and the root of the spine chhodhisthan chakra pelvic chakra color is orange it is six petal sound to balance is a vam be like a victory so breathe out first take a deep breath in vam bring your awareness to your belly button that is your manipur chakra color is yellow ten petals connected to your gastrointestinal system the sound to balance the chakra is ram or like a rubber so breathe out first deep breath in ram bring your awareness to the heart heart chakra color is green connected to cardiovascular system 12 sides of 12 petals and the sound to balance the chakra is yam why like yellow so breathe out first take a deep breath in yam bring your awareness to your throat throat chakra vishuddha chakra color is blue 16 petals connected to respiratory system sound to balance is a hum it's like an harry so breathe out first take a deep breath in hum bring your awareness in between eyebrows third eye chakra agha chakra color is indigo two petals connected to your endocrine system sound to balance the chakra is a sham sh so breathe out first deep breath in sham bring your awareness to the crown of your head sahasra chakra color is violet 
connected to nervous system, function is bliss, and to balance the sound is OM. In yoga, the OM has three components, A, U, Ma. A comes from the lower part of the lung, U comes from the middle part of the lung, Ma comes from the upper part of the lung. So breathe out first. Take a deep breath in. Uh, Slowly bring your hands in front of your heart chakra, Anahata chakra. Touch your little finger and thumb, separate your ring finger, middle finger and index finger, Padma Mudra. It connects your body, mind, and spirit. Slowly bring the Padma Mudra towards your heart. Your heart is the site of your soul, and you get the whole medication through meditation. It is the medicine cabinet of our mind, which makes us disease-free, medication-free, gives a healthy quality lifestyle. Bring your hands again in front of your heart chakra, Bow your head down, and in a yogic tradition, you say, Namaste, Namaskar, I honor the divinity within you. Slowly open your eyes, keep your hands in the side. It's a wonderful practice. This is your meditation is meditation. So just, I can briefly share with you. I know we are coming almost to the end of our time. I'm a Western trained physician. 20 years back, I had an open heart surgery. I had no risk factors. My blood pressure is still 120 over 80. My blood sugar is 80. My cholesterol is normal. It must be some stress of my job or whatever happened. I had, a, I had an emergency open heart surgery. I was on a medication. They gave you four medications. Aspirin, statin, beta blocker, S inhibitor. With this practice of yogic and Ayurvedic lifestyle, for 15 years, I'm disease free, medication free, enjoying a quality life. That's what I want to share with your audience that this is a medication. This is a Ayurvedic lifestyle, it's a yogic lifestyle. Again, the conversation, when you enjoy your life, you wear beautiful clothes, you know, you look good, you are glowing, you look younger. We don't get older anymore. We are mature. Hmm? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful final thoughts, Telibji. It's been an absolute blessing having you with us for the past four segments of this series. I look forward to more contact. And of course, we'll point everybody with resources your way. Thank you so much for the service you've offered us and to the larger community. Namaste. Okay. My last comment is again, you ask for it. You tell me jump, I said, how high? I'll come to you. But you have only one thing you have to do. I always say, catch me if you can. You have to catch me too. I'm tied up for the whole next few months. <laughs> Thank you also for your time. Thank you so much, Delegi. Have a good night. <laughs>